All right, so we're doing a little aerial reconnaissance here on this property that uh, we have permission to go hunt today. And what we've done is we've taken Google Earth and overlaid an old, uh, I think this is a 1876 plat map. And uh, I'm not going to get too detailed on exactly where we're at, but this property right here, you can see this house that we're going to go hunt. And uh, kind of an interesting story behind this property. Um, I guess that the people that were living there, you can see we got a, kind of the state line here of Kansas and Missouri, and uh, the people that were living there were Southern sympathizers. So they were ran off of the property uh, by the Kansans, so they supported Missouri, basically. And uh, this property has been in the family for since before the Civil War. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that the property was basically... Uh, taken from them and uh, they reclaimed it later on down the road and have had it ever since so we can see where there was an old structure on the property and uh, we're going to go out there and see if we can find some Civil War relics wish us All luck right, so since we're kind of on limited time I think we're going to have to I've got the aerials here we'll take a look at them but I think we're going to have to be smart about where we are looking I've, I've kind of pinpointed where the old trees were. I have the 1940s, 42, I think, aerial map, which is like the first one that there was available from the county. And I think I know where the large tree line is. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I think that there is a rock wall that I can see from the aerial that leads just north of the south structure. So I think that... Uh, there and that one I was telling Jason that property actually was no longer it wasn't on the 42 uh, aerial but it's on the 1876 plat map but I think I know where it's at well and that's good that it was they, done before the 40s because a lot of people wouldn't think remember to go back there I have a feeling it's going to be that might be the one that we want to kind of focus on because you know, it was the oldest and it was back whenever right around the Civil War days. So yeah. you saw some logs back there. Yeah, it's huh? big logs. So that's where we need to be. We'll just drive. If we can get back in there, we'll drive all the way around at first and see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look so yeah, I've always wanted to come out and even hunt this property. So there's a gaze. Is this it? Oh, yeah, look at this. This is going to be... Get it. it looks like it's locked. Mm -hmm. I just have to pull off the road, then. Nice. Dummy lock. Oh, he just took it off the hinges. Brilliant, dude. <laughs> Good fucking thinking. Well, look at these. This is like an old fenced in area. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like well, old. this is right where the, the other, the first house was, dude. See all those piled uh, rocks? Hell, there was a house. I think they dump out here, obviously, which sucks. It means it's going to... It's open in there. Okay, so basically, let's look at... This is the current aerial. We're entering right here. All right, this structure which is this one right here on the plat map, is right in this area. So it's like literally, and we'll, I got a close-up of this. This is 1878 so plat. Here's the, here's the close-up. We're sitting about right here right now. Yeah. There's a rock wall right here, and the house was, I mean, you, I think that's the maybe wow. the foundation. So I think it's just right Look over at there. That rock wall. So we're going to go check that out. I think we'll try to drive through here, which will take us. This is where the other structure is, so we're hoping that we can get through there. Right there. And it was right there, and there's still the property still. I think it's still crumbled. It crumbled. It looked like it crumbled in the 90s. It was there in the logs. 40s, all the way through the 90s. And that's where I saw the log the road. So it like actually came and then dropped right there and went through this property. And then this is just all forested area, so who knows what could be back there? Yeah, it could be old campsite. Campsite. So the the story is that Quantrell's Raiders prepared to raid Kansas, just east of. These people, if I understand correctly, lived here, were Southern sympathizers, mm -hmm. pushed off the property. I think that, what was it, it was like Pro Proclamation 11 or something like that. There was some, but yeah, there were some sympathizers. And Ended up after the war, I think, <clears throat> came back? I, I believe so. I think they reacquired it after the war. So it got the property back and has been in the family forever. Yeah, as far as we know, the property's never been hunted. And uh, we're going to go see if we can find it. So we're just driving around the property right now, kind of checking out some of the features that we saw in the aerials. And here's that rock wall that I saw, and it extends quite a ways down there. 
looks like it's was pretty this the road then? So we definitely got to come metal detect next to this. Yeah. Are you kidding me? This is a perfect place where people, you know, the, the wall is going to be here for a while. Stash something along the side of it. Yeah, we'll have to get along the side of it. Wall come down here and it goes down quite a ways. Look at that. It goes all the way down into the woods. Sure does. And the aerial, it shows that it Look goes quite a ways. Look at that nice little area on the other side too. You know, they may have hung out down there by the wall where it kind of hits the creek. Awesome. I could, I could see where this road went down through there too. Yeah, the locust tree probably. So there's this little mound of dirt right there where that row of trees is. Has been there for a long time. And then here's the house. So you got some some bigger trees back in the back. Where's the house at? Right here. Stone, or this a barn or a house? It looks like a house. I don't know, man. This is a barn. It shows it shows as a structure on the plat map. I, now it's got a, a, a concrete uh, base to it. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's just crumbled. There's also. I think we'll go take a closer look at it. She said that there was. A, I think she said there was a call space or like a. Oh. Uh, yeah, a uh, cellar or something. Cellar. Yeah, it's That's it's kind of mounted up back there. That'll be for the circle around. All right, getting Salt. geared up here. Decided to go with the older property or the the older area where there used to be a structure. You can kind of see some mounds of dirt and some concrete and stuff in here. We're gonna get geared up and go over there, poke around a little bit, see if we can find something. Super interesting property. It's going to take us a long time to hunt. But fortunately, it sounds like we can come back here anytime we want. So, plenty of time All to right. do it. Kind of walking into this uh, area under these trees. There's some good signs here. There's an old gate. Railroad ties hammered into the ground. Big trees growing around them. We're thinking the structure was somewhere over here. Scrap iron's already going to work over there. A lot of iron in the ground. Yeah, metal detecting along here and found a little friend today. A little box turtle. Pretty common around here. Leave him alone. All right, we uh, just spent probably, what, 45 minutes or an hour looking for the first structure on the plat map. No luck whatsoever. Found the rock wall. It's our last resort. We also know where this other structure is, so we're going to run over there and check it out. All right, we came up to the second structure, which is actually still a structure, and uh, check it out. It's got an old rock foundation, big mound over here. I was kind of curious if there might be a cellar or something. Be nice to find the privy or the well. Oh, looks like a cow had died here once, or they threw the dead one down here. Look at all these bones. Jawbone. Where the skull is. Some more pieces out over here. Huh. Anyway, there's the structure, man. It's old. Got some good old barn wood on it, though. You get in there and poke around a little bit, hit around the edges. Hit around it and see if we can dig something up. That's the idea anyway. Well, we have, I don't know, been there for maybe an hour and a half and had very little luck. Sweating our asses off. I'm gonna head up to this area where I saw some larger trees. Poke around there a little bit. There's a lot of garbage around here. Find anything yet? No luck. It's all right, there's something on this property. We're gonna eventually find it. We've been hunting for like a couple hours now and we haven't found anything but aluminum cans and crap so it's really nice to finally find something have a little glimmer of hope that there's some stuff on this property we know it's old we know it's been inhabited for a long time but just haven't found anything that pointed to any skirmishes or anything no bullets or anything like that so maybe you found a button or something it'd be awesome all right guys whoo High Plains Prospector's here, and it has been a tough one. I'm hunting with the AT Gold, and there's a lot of trash out here. Got the little picker. This is bouncing around, and so I didn't really get my phone on in time, but as soon as I saw it, I, was, I jumped up, called jo Josh over here and Turpin. But it's got an eagle on it, and it looks like, like a... 
man, that looks like a like a metal or something. Yeah, let me see if I can get a little more. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Sweet. Check it out. I think it's like a, I think it hung like on oh, a. Oh wow. Yeah. That's fucking awesome, dude. Oh yeah. What does it say anything on the back? Uh uh. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't pound that thing. I could have easily hit that thing. That's so cool. I wonder what that is. Don't think it like hung like on like as a I'll metal. Bet you that rang up well. Check this out, dude. Oh shit. I, I don't know if it's old yet. The eagle on it. I don't know anything about it. It's pretty awesome, man. Well, this is where I'm going to start. To, this is where I'll be. So I was working my way back. This Flame jumper. Straight, huh? out, straight out this back door, maybe. And maybe there was something. Maybe the old privy or something was back here. I, I don't know. There was an entrance right yeah. there. So that could have been the entrance. I don't know. Well, let's hunt, this, like? let's hunt this little hill right here then and just kind of poke around a little bit. Here, yeah. This See how sharp that is? At, what is it running up as, number-wise? Uh, 84? Co or it's copper, probably. Yeah, it's brass. Yeah, yeah, brass. Brass, probably. Yeah. Awesome. Good All find, right, man. Got some we'll clean it off and check it out, see what it says. Something on the back. Oh, cool. Genuine bronze. Bronze? That's cool. Bronze metal. Some sort. How's the lettering on there? It looks like it was stamped in. It was kind of bouncing around at first. But when... <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, yeah. We're just freaking metal tucking along here. Travis found this awesome metal and then we stumble across the cellar so that means that they travel back and forth from the cellar all the time yeah this is exactly where we need to be right here we saw there's also an old structure old foundation over there big trees big big trees over here there might be oh it looks like there's another structure over this way too look at that Nice, so this is, uh, this is why that area was fenced in like that. Awesome. Jason's going down there. Oh, yeah, this is really cool, dude. Hopefully there isn't anything under that. <laughs> Is this concrete in one stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. It's poured concrete. You should move these beer cans. Oh, look, there's a hole right there. That's a good sign. I'm not getting any readings in there. You want to stick the little one in there? Like a piece of lead. It looks like a bullet, dude. I think that's a smashed bullet. It shot down into this corner. That is what that is. Like maybe there was a, somebody trying to kill a little varmint. Uh, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> See how heavy it is. This lead. Somebody shot in here. Could be something. Yeah. I, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. You know what I mean? Almost like. Yeah, it is. It's like an old. School bell or something. Maybe there's a school bell. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like to me. That's cool. That was a real good signal. That's what you want to do. Right, I figured I better get some of this on film here. 
I'm not really sure what this is, but it's a big round, oh, round piece of thick metal. So I'm going to take my time getting it out of here. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it's a little rusty, but it's interesting. Rang like hell. Finally got this thing up out of the ground and big freaking round piece of steel iron. It's heavy though. <sighs> Alright, we know there's shit out here now at least though. Got, got to keep in mind, Travis found something, so there's stuff out here. Let me go hit by this foundation over here. All right, I got a good signal here. Very sharp, four inches. I, something around, coin-ish. Running really well, solid 80. Man, sounds good. Let's see what it is. Let's see if I can pinpoint it first. I figured I better get this on video just in case. I think it's just a modern quarter, but just popped up a coin. 69. Not quite where I want to be. Wait. Oh, fuck. 65. One year off of being silver, man. 65 quarter. So, so I got a couple other little targets kind of marked off. I've always liked hunting under cedar trees, evergreens. I mean, they're green all year round. They provide shelter from both the sun and the wind. I've always had a lot of luck around them. A little bit of luck here. First coin I've found all day. It's been slow going. We're going to keep at it though. I'm going to hunt around these trees and see what All right, I have to start pulling the camera out a little faster. I don't know if this, is, this isn't real valuable, but it's pretty cool. It's a brass piece. Looks like maybe one on a bucket or something. Or a bin and it says oats and barley on it it's real solid metal it's pretty neat all right i'm gonna keep the camera out as i work around these two cedar trees man i told you i've always had a lot a lot of luck around these things i wasn't gonna get this on film but right over there i dug this basically the insides of a watch bringing my camera to focus at all Switch it out. yes so right over there I found the insides of a watch and I come over here, I dig this hole, I get a pretty good signal and I got the back of a watch. It's not gold or anything, but it's kind of cool I found it that close together. I'm going to keep looking, see what else I can find. Man, I've dug up a lot of stuff around here. Look at this. I'm going to go back in and fill those up, but I want to hit them again, make sure I don't miss anything. Got a couple more areas I marked here to dig up. All right, finally got something I think worth pulling the camera out for. And this looks to me like an old makeup case or something like that. And it has something on the top of it. I'll clean it up, take a look at it, and see what it is. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highplainsprospectors.com where you can find the finest in metal detecting and treasure hunting supplies.